Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing off Snow Leopard. Uh, this is the 10A380 build, which was distributed at WWDC. And so I'm going to show off some of the new features. Um, obviously these were demoed on the keynote, but here they are working on my Mac. So let's go about this Mac. Here you can see I'm running 10.6. And this is an Intel Core Duo, meaning that this is 64-bit OS, but it has a 32-bit kernel. My MacBook is not 64-bit. So anybody who has a Core Duo, you can sleep well knowing that Snow Leopard runs just fine. So let's go into Stacks. Now here is my stack for my Applications folder. Um, how I have this set up is I have Snow Leopard and Leopard running on this machine in a dual boot um, way. Snow Leopard has this small 20 gig partition. Leopard has the rest of my 320 gig drive. And these are, this is basically like a symbolic link to my applications folder. And see, you can scroll through, it's really nice. I mean, it scrolls, it scrolls pretty good. Um, you can use keys to move around like A goes to the top, Z obviously goes to the bottom and it's it's overall pretty nice um, I like it so let's go into let's see here let's go back into my movies folder movies okay so here we got some episodes of The Office I'm going to make these screen flow. No, I don't want screen flow. A big mug. All right, so I'm going to make these a little bit bigger. A lot a bit bigger. And here you can see I can preview I can watch the movie right within right within its icon, which is really awesome. That's just another feature of this. So let's close that. The airport menu now shows um, the signal strength. If you hold all op if you hold option and click on it, you can see exactly, you know, all the advanced features you can see I'm running 5 gigahertz on what channel all sorts of fun stuff and basically this is a rock solid OS I mean it, it's quick now one of the coolest things about this is I can sh this this build of Snow Leopard shuts down in four to five seconds flat every time I've, I've opened a hunt you know like maybe 20 applications I shut it down five seconds each time which is amazing because Snow Leopard, or Leopard, takes forever, basically forever to shut down. Now this build does not include the expose in the dock. At least I haven't figured out how to do it, I don't know. But <clears throat> personally I don't think it's in there. And yet I don't think I would even use it. So that's just something that's not in there. Now if you notice up here, the Bluetooth icon and the Time Machine icon are like lighter color. I don't know why that is. Sometimes the sound will go to a lighter color. Maybe it's showing that it's idle and not being used. I don't know. But yeah, that's basically it. And I'm just excited to have Snow Leopard running on here. You know, running really nice. It's stable. I could this is I could use this daily, basically. There's I have yet to run into any crazy bugs. I'm using ScreenFlow that and it runs pretty pretty well. There are uh, some, there are some minor, like, graphical problems. Something like, like the preview window for my webcam doesn't show up when I start to record, but it records my video just fine, obviously. Now, for my next video, I'm going to be showing you iPhone 3.0 Gold Master, which I have running right now on this. You can see I got the search, and I can even, I have Tether enabled on this. And I might, I might do a guide on how to tether with the iPhone 3.0.
gold master build that was released the same day as this so that's basically it uh, if you have any questions feel free to send me a message or or preferably uh, leave a comment um, that's basically it so yeah thanks for watching